Welcome back everyone. I am so excited to be able to bring another 12 by 12 layout for you. I started as I usually do by picking my photos and then I went through my core products for the month of April from Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft. It's the the papers are from Bow Bunny and they're from the Cotton Tail. The inspiration for this layout came from that yellow piece of paper that you see to the side there. It was a it's just a piece of scrap left over from my previous layout. I finally chose my background paper and it's going to be that gorgeous, gorgeous beige colour there. It's also, like I said earlier, from the Bow Bunny and it's a cotton tail collection. Absolutely gorgeous paper. So I went through my stash of scrap paper and I found this gorgeous, lovely lilac colour and that's going to be the first match for this photo. Once I finish matching my photo, I will be inking all around the edges using my newfound favourite product. It's also part of my core products for the month of April and it's the Inker Gold and the colour is Green Yellow. For a while now, I've been wanting to start an album all about my garden and how it first started. So this is going to be the start of that journey. I got this photo because as you can see there is nothing there and that's what the journal is going to be about how I tore everything out and starting from fresh and this gorgeous piece of paper is going to be used as a second mat for my photo the layout was starting to look a little bit too flat for my liking so what I did was I got out my distressing tool and roughed up all the edges and once that's done I'm going to take out my green yellow ink of gold and i'm going to equal the edges as roughly as i possibly can my next piece of paper brings me to a difficult decision because i like both sides the a and the b side and i know i want to use that purple flower there so in the end i just have to cut the strip down the 12 inch side and i think well that leaves me with this strip so what do i do with this and I oom um and I am um and then I think, no, it's too long. So I'm going to make it work and I decide, well, I'm going to have to cut it somewhere, make it a bit shorter. I don't make, take any measurements. I just eyeball it. And then I think, oh, yeah, this is going to work. And I'm looking back at my lovely flower and I think, yes, I definitely want to use it. So I want to bring more of that purple in. And the only way to do it is to fussy cut the whole flower. This is the part where I had the most fun. I've got out my Chinese rice paper that I bought at an art shop somewhere and it's the most gorgeous paper you will ever see. And what I did was I got out my jelly plate, I sprayed some Kaiser, Kaiser Craft Mist, no, what's it called? It's called Kaiser Mist in the colour yellow. I didn't think too much about it. All I did was spray and pick it up. I was All I was aiming to do was to get as many different patterns on this paper as I could because if you look at a leaf, it has a lot of different patterns. Then I thought, oh, I've got to add some green to this. So I dried my, my yellow with the heat gun and I take out this gorgeous stencil, which is also part of my core products. It's from Tim Holtz and I believe it's called Splash Layering Stencil. And I spray it with some Tim Holtz Distress Spray Stain in the colour Shabby Shutters. Once that is all done and I don't think too much about it, just different patterns, that's all I'm aiming for. Once I'm happy with it, I'm just going to give it a final spray with the uh, Kaiser Mist in yellow and I love it. I'm going to blow, uh, not blow dry, but I'm going to dry it with the heat gun and then I'm going to take my stencil once again and I'm going to use my ink of gold. And this just adds that crunchy texture that's all i can think about when you get the leaves in autumn and winter and it has that sort of crunchy feel about it to me that's what adding the inca gold did to it it gave it that sort of bit of a, of a crunch to it and i am so ecstatic with the way these leaves turned out and look at this paper just look at it i absolutely love it and then i take my cuddle bug and the dry the die set that I'm using, it's from Casercraft. It's also part of my core products and it is called, the die set is called DIY, do it yourself, laurel leaves. And look at it, 
I love these leaves. Um, I'm absolutely in love with them. So I've decided that the layout is going to be as is and I'm just using my ATG gun to glue everything down. When I started gluing these leaves down, I wanted to mention to them, I wanted to look like they were floating down off the tree. So what I did was I first just sort of played around with the placement of them and make sure that I was going to be liking the end result. I do. And so I landed up getting a little bit of glue and just putting it on the stem bit and then I will be using some foam and I cut the foam in strips and I just stick it behind the leaves just to give it some dimension and some pop up. The longest process in this whole layout was making those leaves but I'm in love with them so it was really worth it and to me it's my form of relaxation so I don't really mind spending the time making my own leaves. I then decided it still needed a, a something, but I didn't know what it was, and I take out my wood veneers, and I come across, across these lovely little borders, and I just think, yes, it just adds that touch of elegance that I was after, and I love it. I'm going to be working on my title now, and the title is going to be The Life Within the Seed which I think is a very appropriate title for a garden and layout. And really, this is how my garden is starting off. This is the, the seed, which is my thought process and what I, the life that I hope to bring to it in years to come. So I did steal this title from Auntie Vera, but I hope she doesn't mind. And thank you all so much for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, I would love it if you subscribe to my Growing Little channel. Until next time, take care and God bless. Bye.